Yeah, very happy with the squad that we've uh, selected for the first NRC game. Uh, it's what this competition's all about. You know, you mentioned we had some injuries with Gil, uh, Curtis Browning, but with them being out provides opportunities for youngsters like Michael Gunn and Adam Corsick to come in and, and get some experience of uh, top rugby. Well, you know, we've got a, a good forward pack there, we've got some good combinations and then uh, you look at the, those names that you mentioned, you know, Samu Krevi was one of the uh, real finds for the, the season for us and we want to get him with a lot of ball and then also players like Harry Parker, an outstanding contributor to uh, university's win on Sunday and uh, he's a genuine finisher so we want to see him with the ball in hand as much as possible. I couldn't tell you, I haven't seen their squad and haven't seen their playing list so uh, uh, what they do bring is uh, is good combinations from that Sydney University side. They've been a dominant force in the Sydney Premiership for a long time now so so they've been looking forward to this national comp competition coming in so they'll have a lot to lot to play for and a point to prove. Yeah, Michael Gunn, open side flanker, he, he's a guy who's been in our squad now uh, with the Reds for the last 12 months. He's, he's trained exceptionally well and, and through this competition now, players like him get an opportunity to play rugby rather than just train. Like him? Definitely, definitely about players like him. Uh, you know, we need to bridge the gap from club rugby to super rugby uh, as much as possible. You know, it's, uh, this pathway now with, with NRC is crucial for that and to upskill players like Michael Gunn, Adam Corsix, uh, Andrew Reddy is, is just invaluable and uh, we'll see the benefits from this competition for a long time to come. It's really exciting to be able to play in the first game of the NRC and um, off the back of the grand final win, you know, rocking up yesterday, uh, half the team of guys you were trying to bash on Sunday and then um, quickly get together as a side and build into this exciting new competition, it's really exciting. Yeah, very much so. I think um, that's, you know, what the competition's for. Guys, that, there's a few guys there that have trained with the Reds all year. But um, with Super Rugby, um, with the stakes being so high and, and senior players staying fit, they didn't get their opportunities. So now at a higher level, um, guys like Michael Gunn and Andrew Reddy, who trained with us all year, have an opportunity. And, and the depth is strong. Premier Rugby is a really strong competition, so the guys coming through are, are going to be more than up to it. Yeah, definitely. Just um, getting those, those game time minutes um, in the NRC is going to help me massively, rather than, uh, you know, just there's only so much training you can really do in the traditional... Uh, pre-season setup that Australia's had um, in previous years. I think being on the field and playing is how you learn the best and um, I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, I think Andrew Reddy at Hooker um, has had a lot of experience training with the Reds this year. I think he'll relish the opportunity. Um, Harry Parker at uni, I had the pleasure of playing with him and he, he scored an insane amount of tries this year. He's a great finisher so it'll be exciting to see him and, and a guy like Brando Valo who's an interesting story who actually played for the Reds um, straight out of school and then went away overseas to Japan and France, I think, and now he's back in Australia trying to further his career, so it'll be interesting to see how he goes. Yeah, yeah, very much so. I think um, I had a few tough years of injury and now I've uh, got a little taste of Super Rugby, but now to have, you know, sort of a nine-team competition to just play week in, week out will help my skills and to have those younger guys playing with the likes of Jake Schatz, who has 50-plus Super Rugby games to his name, can only sort of help their development and then if that's happening across the country, it's got to be good for Australian rugby.